Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. Today I'm walking you through how you can create a slideshow or a presentation using Adobe Express. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here I am at the homepage of express.adobe.com and to create my slideshow presentation is going to be twofold. I'll show you here in the plus sign. We're going to be using the web page tool to present my uh, slideshow or my content. But before I do that, I want to show you my slides that I created. So I'll go over to my projects menu and we'll go ahead and open up the slide project. So this is the slideshow. I would say the actual images that I'll use for my slideshow presentation. I'll go ahead and show you, I'll show view all pages. I've got these already all created. So I'll go ahead and scroll through so you can see them. These are all individual graphics and I created these using the multi-page feature within Adobe Express. If you want to know more about that, check out the video linked in the description above or below. And I'll go ahead and click this here. And so each of these are individual objects that I created. There's text and then this is my basically my beginning uh, slide in my presentation. So I'll go ahead and slide through here so you can see. So the first thing you would want to do is create all of your slides in Adobe Express as graphics. As you can see, these are all movable objects. And if you want to, let's say, for example, I wanted to add my logo to my presentation, then I'll go to logo and I've got my signature. So I've got it up here. So this is something that I maybe want to add in my presentation. So I'll just go ahead and uh, let's see here. I will copy that. And let's see if this works. We'll go to the next slide and paste it in. It'll add it in the same spot. As you can see, I can go through here and add the logo, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for now. So let's go ahead and come back here and delete that. Uh, best option would have been to do that before and duplicate, but that's all right. You can always add it. But again, I wanna show you that you can create your own slides, add content, add graphics, add photos, add text, add logos, icons, whatever you want to your graphics. So again, these will be your ending points. I should say your final graphics that I'm going to be using in the web page feature. So again, you'll have to have all this done. So what I'm going to do now is download the entire presentation, or I should say my slides. I'm going to choose all pages and start download, and it will save it as a zip file which I can later unzip and then I'm going to use into my web page, which I'm going to go do that now. So we'll go click on the home page and now I'll click on the plus sign and we'll go to web page. So you might be wondering, Claudio, why are we using a web page? Well, there is a little feature in the web page which you can use to present. And I'll show you that once I have this done. You see, it shows to add a title for the web page. That'll be the title of this project. I'm going to leave that blank. You don't actually have to add it. And that is because I already have the title within my graphic that I created a little bit before this. So let's go ahead and find that. Let's see here. There is the first slide. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and add that onto the splash page. I call that the splash page or the landing page. So now the next thing is I'll add the next graphic that I created. I'll go to photos and upload once again, and we'll do the second one. We'll go ahead and bring that in. It will default to the inline. So you can choose full width so you can see the entire photo. So I will continue adding photos until I have the entire project uploaded, or I should say added to the web page. So as you can see, I'm adding each single one. So let me go ahead and continue this process and I will be right back. Now that I have added all the images that I created into the web page, I'm ready to continue the next step here. And so what I will do now is use this as my slideshow presentation. When I give a keynote or a presentation, I will use web page as my tool instead of other presenting uh, types of tools, presentation tools. I'll go ahead and just use my web page within Adobe Express. And you might be wondering, well, how am I going to do that? So let me go ahead and show you right now is here at the top, you have the option to present. Now you'll see this when you are in the edit mode, which I am right now. If I click on share, I will create a published web link. Then that's not the one I want to use. So you can actually do this within your edit window. 
and you'll click on present and it will go full screen into present mode so let me go ahead and do that now and now the entire screen is full so we'll go ahead and wait for this to load and what i'll use i can use a clicker or i can use my keys and so let's say i'm presenting my keynote here talking about hey we're here to talk about how to create to be creators are you creative so as you can see i'm just clicking on the arrow key to go to the next slide and there we go so i can continue my presentation just by doing this keynote i have my slides so then when i'm ready i just click on the next one and i can continue my presentation here again i'm doing all of this within adobe express web page tool using the present button that you see at the top and again this is a twofold process you will create the graphics in adobe express and then upload them into a web page and again use the present feature at the top to present your keynote and that is how you can create a slideshow presentation using adobe express so now it's your turn to give it a try if you have any comments or questions about this video feel free to drop it in the comment section below don't forget hit that like button subscribe click the bell to be notified for future videos and please please share this video with your friends thanks again for stopping by and watching this video and as always be good to one another peace